Hello YouTube, I'm back again and this is covering um, still research methods but this is covering another section of it which is um, reliability and validity so let's get to it so reliability this is the definition so you need to know this for the exam reliability refers to the consistency of a measuring instrument and that's the definition of reliability um, I think it's two marks in the exam so you need to know that so get that down and consistency means that you can rely on the results to be the same each time they may ask you for a definition of consistency and this may be one or two marks as well so get this down as well so let's carry on sorry yeah there you go validity validity is the extent to which test measures what it is intended to measure that's the definition get that down because that will be come up in, coming up in the exam so that's probably two marks as well so now there are two main types of validity there's internal validity and there's external validity so let's go on to internal validity so internal validity this is the actual test that is being used which basically sees if the independent variable which is the cause has an effect on the dependent variable which is the thing that's being measured and independent variable is the thing that's being manipulated external validity there are three main types of external validity you need to know for the AS exam there's historical validity this is is the study relevant to today to, di to today's society sorry about that um, so basically things that were, were not norms in the past may be norms today so therefore is it relevant or not to do a study on them um, another validity type of validity external validity is population validity this is is it representative to the target population oh sorry to the population as a re as a whole so the population you have used is it representative to the whole world or not and the last but not least um, external validity is ecological validity this means does it represent behavior in the real world which basically um, means is it natural behavior or is it artificial so this is measuring validity there's three 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 ways of measuring validity one is face validity and um, this is also known as the eyeball test is the study measuring what it is supposed to measure so basically can you read the study and is it are the results and findings based on what the study was meant to measure in the first place another one is concurrent validity basically this is does the study compare to other studies that are already in use so the study you have done can you compare it with another study that's similar to what you have done and the last but not least is predictive validity so can one test predict the outcome of another so basically a test you do um, could can it predict a test of another can it predict the results of another test so basically that was a quick section about um, reliability and validity you need to know everything that I've said for the exam Thank you for watching. Be sh thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe and like this video. Thank you.